today we're diving into my Speedmaster 210cc heads. We're going to go through my AccuFab 90mm throttle body and we're also going to break down my Aeromotive A1000 fuel pump and check that out. So make sure you guys are tuning in for the rest of this video. So we're going to start with box number one over here. We're going to get this opened up and check out what's inside. All right. Starting with some gaskets. It looks like we got some mounting bolts here, some rock arm studs. All right, what do we got here? It looks like more gaskets. So what's looks like we got the rocker arms right here inside this box. Get that opened up. They're one six rockers. Got a nice little gold finish. I think they look really good. So I'm excited to see what those are going to look like on the heads. We have here. Oh, it looks like some valve covers. I didn't know that came with it. <laughs> I guess when you order a top end kit, that's what you get. So these are the valve covers that they sent. With all the bracketry and bolts inside. So this is what we're looking at here as I drop more bolts. Yeah, so those are the valve covers. It's heavy, so get this out of the way. Way to open this. Should be. We got razor blades. Oh yeah, these look great. So I'm gonna open these up. Man, here we are, all wrapped in the bubble wrap quick look at them here yeah these look good I am a fan of these wow a little bit of casting there but that is them that is this side I don't know what side I'm looking at right now once I get them all pulled out I'll be able to check it out and everything but so that's the initial view that I see, and I think it looks really good so far. We'll obviously check everything out as I get it going and get it out of the box, but on to the next box. Let's get some things moving here. So get you guys a little closer up. These are the gaskets and everything that I uh, did get. Um, here's the 1-6 rockers. Yeah. All right, so let's get this side open up. Check out everything that's going on inside here. So this looks like the intake manifold. It's a carb intake. I'm not gonna be using this. Um, just came with the kit. I, I'll open that up, show you guys what it looks like inside of there and everything and uh, get you guys that. So you get an idea of what their intakes look like. So like I was saying, this is a carb intake. I'm not gonna be using that. As you guys know, I'm EFI, I'm running the Terminator X, I'm using that Holly High Ram kit. Um, but here's a little welcome to the team note. Shout out Speedmaster for that guys there. So I'll open that up here a little later. But here's their carb intake. Looks pretty good though. This reminds me a lot of the, um, the Edelbrock one. That's what that shaping reminds me of, so. But yeah, so that's their intake manifold. Let me know if you guys had any questions on that. I might be able to answer that, or maybe I'll give this away in future videos. So yeah. So I'm gonna get this cut open. Give you guys an opportunity to first look at it. All right. All right, so 
Well, let's get this bubble wrap off. Alright, so this is what we're looking at here. Everything looks really good on it. That's all really good. That's all finished out really well. I am excited. I'm going to get these out of these box. I'm going to get this uh, filmed and set up for you guys on top of a table. We can go through them, take a look at them, see if we see any flaws or anything. So, but yeah, there they are. So my first initial thoughts on these, these look pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, I haven't really seen much of a casting issue, maybe just a little bit right inside there, um, but nothing that's detrimental. Um, they're very light. I uh, picked this up. I think it's maybe, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, just based on it, it's probably... 25 pounds they're very light way more than i was expecting on the lightness side of things so i'm gonna flip this over get you guys this view check out everything on this side and uh yeah so so this is what i'm looking at on the bottom side just checking out everything in a fine detail and i'm really not seeing anything nothing that's really concerning to me in that regard it's just it actually looks really nice yeah, so, so far I'm very impressed with these. They all seem flat and everything, so there's nothing really pressing with it. To get you an idea. So this is the other one, get that pulled out, take a look. I'm not really seeing anything that concerns me when it comes to these heads. So just a little that's on the face, it's nothing that's gonna affect performance, so. Yeah, they look sharp, man. Overall, I'm impressed. So overall, for an $1,100 uh, headset, I am super excited for these. I think they look really good. Um, it's 210 cc's, and then the combustion chambers are 62 cc's. I'm going to put a link down below to these heads so you guys can check them out for yourselves, get an idea. Um, but so far, they look really good. We're going to see, obviously see what it looks like when it gets mounted on the car, run into any issues there. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think they look really sharp, and I think they're sendable, at least. So for an $1,100 aluminum headset, 210 cc's, I am very excited about these. These actually look really good. I can't wait to get them mounted up, get you guys an opportunity to see what they actually look like on the car, what kind of difficulties I run into when it comes to installing these. Um, getting these 1.6 rockers all mounted and everything. So let me know what you guys think about these heads. Obviously, they're not AFRs, but they're also not too far behind, in my opinion. I've seen AFRs up close. I've seen the issues people have had with AFRs. I'm pretty happy with these. One more quick note on these heads that I forgot to mention early on was... There's even a five-year warranty on these things. For $1,100 for you just to go out there and send it and have a five-year peace of mind warranty, I think that makes it great. So make sure you guys check out the link below regarding the Speedmaster. Check out these heads. Let me know your guys' thoughts on them. I already have my opinion. You guys heard that. So, so here is the rocker arms. So They're one six. Should be perfect for this setup. These look pretty good. I am happy with this, that's for sure. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at two new things that I just got in the mail today. Um, first one, 
It's gonna be my A1000 fuel pump. Let's open it up. Looks like we have a nice Aeromotive sticker here. That's gonna go on the beer fridge. All right, check this thing out. That is massive. I like the anodized red on this a lot. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. So that is my new fuel pump. So next up is my AccuFab 90 mil throttle body. Open that up, get this out of the way. So it is black um, with the AccuFab logo here. Um, looks like we got a pretty good opening here. Check that out. Got some good flow that'll come through that. So it's way bigger than my BBK 70 mil throttle body that I currently have on the car right now. Um, this will get mounted up sometime here soon. Kind of get an idea of where it's going to sit, um, how my cold side pipes are going to run as well. Um, yeah, so this just looks really good. I am a fan of it. So shout out AccuFab for that, 90 mil throttle body. Yeah. I'll get you guys some close-up video content of them here as well. Let me get everything else staged, um, and I'll drop that right after this.